counting yourself out. Like, yo, seriously, if you're doubting yourself right now, I need you to stop. Just stop. Okay? Just stop doubting yourself. Just stop it. Please. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Princess Renny here, and I hope you're doing well. On this channel, we talk about Christian faith, lifestyle, as well as natural hair. I'm super excited for today and all the things that we're gonna be talking about, okay? So, this message that I've been receiving from God is just to bring what I have, come as I am, be obedient, do everything He's calling me to do. And I've been running away and not talking about this. Even though I say my channel is about my Christian faith, I haven't been talking about it much. So today I need to just get right into it. One of the things that God has shown me time after time after time is that he's given me so many visions and so many gifts and so many things that like kind of tie into one another, which is, you know, inevitably how I can fulfill my purpose in this life. Um, but there's been a lot of times where I like doubt myself. So I know that I've been going through some rough time in the during the pandemic, I would say. Um, right after 2019, it's just been like a roller coaster. And I feel like, not now, but before I was baptized, I was in that space and it was very hard for me to get out of it. I felt like my life was in a limbo because I was dealing with so much pain and disappointment um, that like I just couldn't push through I just couldn't go past it and a lot of it was in regards to my relationship and my trust in God because I've dealt with so many things and I felt like God has allowed so many things to happen and for me it just didn't make sense and like in the human mind there's a lot of times when we stop and we pause and we're like well, this doesn't make sense, God. Why? 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 And like, you know, we think that we have the power or the authority to question God, but that's like the biggest mistake we can ever make, right? And I learned that the hard way because a lot of things were crumbling in front of me and like, I, because I didn't understand why, I just like paused and I, I held myself back from a lot of opportunities and I held myself back from a lot of things that could have gotten me much further than where I am today. But the reason I say I learned it the hard way is because even now, seeing it in hindsight, I'm like, wow, I should have just continued. I could have been so much further along with this thing that he's placed in my heart to do. And I would have understood that, hey, this pain and this hurt was a fuel that I needed, the adrenaline that I needed to get to where I needed to get to. And because I paused, I kept myself at this level where if I had continued, I would have been much further, like out of the frame, much further, much higher than I am right now. Um, so like I find myself having to work even harder to like remember one, where I was at that time frame in my life but also understand the steps that I took in order to get there versus bringing you guys through that journey, you guys through that pain and that hurt. So I've been, ball can you guys tell I've been bawling my eyes out? Maybe my makeup did good and it's, it's fine, but the past couple of weeks, I would just do my makeup, I would go to church, I would hear the word, I'm like, okay, God, I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. So one of the things that he brought to my remembrance was David, right? All David had to defeat Goliath was a slingshot and some sticks, okay? It's a slingshot. He had a stone and some sticks, a slingshot, okay? He created it, boom, did what he needed to do. That's all he had. And a lot of people, and this literally happened in the Bible, where the other soldiers were like, where are you going? You need to be armored up. You need to have, you need to look the part, right? You need to have this within you. You need the experience. You need all of that. And it's like, no, God is telling me to come and bring what I have. Are you kidding me? Exactly as I am, exactly where I am in life. I have experience in so many areas and I've doubted myself because I'm like, but I'm not qualified or I'm not holy enough, or I haven't done the things this person has done to get 
where they are. So I need to follow those steps and I need to go and do things this way. And God is like, girl, I place this within your heart. Why are you holding yourself back? How can you determine the path that I have for you? I'm the one that made the plans. Like, what are you doing? So I say all that to say, like, I, I guess I can talk about me personally, like at my own church. Um, there's been a lot of roles that I know I could have had, but I was like, mm, no thanks, or mm, I'm not qualified enough, or not me. There's no way God wants me to do that. Um, and even right now, I see myself kind of trying to bring that pattern to my new church, um, where I'm like, I know I have these gifts, and I know I can do so much, but I'm afraid that there's something that I will do to mess it up. So think that I have the power to mess up God's plan is laughable, okay? That's one. But also, two, it's a lie from the enemy trying to tell me and discourage me, trying to discourage me from fulfilling the potential. Yes, we're going to make mistakes along the way, but if you don't do it out of fear of messing up, then you will not get anywhere in life, okay? And like, I'm being real. We try, we mess up, and this is like, even as I talk to the kids, like I have a child that's trying to learn how to do a cartwheel, right? And so we have the mats, we have the triangle, we have all the things, all the materials. And of course they have me, their coach that's going to help them, right? So I'm like encouraging them like, okay, I'm going to spot you, you got this. And I spot them just a little, and I'm, but I'm like, I want them to feel the whole thing. So I want them to push. I want them to try hard. I want them to go ahead and do it with their might and I should just be a little a little help to them. I should be able to just use my finger instead of my whole hand or using both hands to help turn them, right? So I want them to feel that. And you know what happens when they try it the first time? Yeah, they fall down. They don't get as hurt, but they're stunned at the fact that, whoa, my coach let me fall. <laughs> My coach let me fall. My coach let me get, it's not that bad. I didn't hurt my wrist that bad, but I felt a little pain. My coach let me feel pain. Like, I don't know if I can trust them or I don't know if I can do this thing again. I don't know if I can try it again. What if I try it again and I still don't get it and I fall again? What if I try again and I get hurt even worse? Ooh, a message, a message, y'all. What? He brought that analogy or that to my memory because it's the same way that I've been approaching my relationship with him. Granted, I, as me, as the coach, knows they're going to get it because they're going to keep trying and they're going to feel it and they're going to get the momentum. And before they know it, they'll get it. And the excitement after they finally get the car, me like, coach, I don't need you to spot me anymore. I've got it. I can do it. I don't need you to, I just need you to be there. I need you to watch me right? I still need your support. I need your encouragement. I need you to tell me, yes, go ahead and do it. Go ahead. You can do it. Right. And I need you, your presence there. Right. But otherwise I've got it. And that should be the same way with our relationship with God. He gives us that support. He gives us that support until we're like, okay, God, I trust you. I can do it. I just need your presence with me. God's presence was with David, and that's how he was able to defeat Goliath. People put a lot of power and a lot of authority into the stone or into the slingshot or even into David's own potential and his power, but that's not where we need to be focusing our attention on. It was the presence of God, right? So just like how my presence as a coach, knowing that I can encourage and support these kids and know that they can do it, that's how our relationship needs to be with God. His presence going with you, knowing that you can accomplish even the impossible. Wherever he goes, wherever you go, and he's there with you, his presence is surrounding you, you can do mighty things. But you have to believe that. And like, this is an encouragement to me too, because a lot of times I've held myself back because I'm like afraid of what could happen but you should be so excited and encouraged about what could happen right like you're thinking about the negative things but what about the positive what if this amazing thing happens what if the outcome is even better than you imagine right like that's where our mindset needs to be knowing that god is in the midst of it and he's going to see you through that's it 
That's all you need to know. That's all you need to be able to push through and accomplish that thing that you wanted to do. Okay, I hope this was a message and an encouragement to some of you today or someone, even if it's one person. I hope you received this message because it's been on my heart for some time and I, I'm going to stop playing and I hope you do too. Okay, so <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Show some love, okay? Write in the comments, like, was this some encouragement to you? In what way, in what form? What is something that I can pray for you about? Because that's it. We need to also encourage each other through prayer, okay? And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pray right now. Like, Heavenly Father, I just thank you for this word. I thank you for this encouragement. I thank you for this person that's listening even right now and watching this video. I pray whatever it is that they're battling with in their heart or in their mind, in their spirit, oh God, I pray that you will intervene, oh God, that they will go forth with confidence. They will go forth with the authority that you have given them, oh God, and they will know, oh God, that you are in the midst of every situation. And once you're there, once your presence goes with them, they can do the impossible. We thank you and we praise you for all that you've done, all that you're doing, oh God, and everything you're about to do in their future. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I hope this was a blessing to you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Be blessed, spread love, and stay beautiful inside and out. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, makeup. Pretty good.